Hello, this is Matt Vozella from the Bryant University Audiovisual Office. I'm here to give you several brief tutorials on the finer points of editing using Adobe Premiere Elements. Adobe Premiere Elements is preloaded on all Bryant laptops, so it should be accessible for all students to use. So, let's get started. First thing you need to do is open up Adobe Premiere Elements. Easiest way to do that is come down here to the corner, to the Start menu, click that, come under All Programs, and then it's going to either be under a folder entitled Adobe, or in my case I already have a link set up, for Adobe Premiere Elements 10. Depending on the laptop you're running, you may have Adobe Premiere Elements 8 or 9. They all look the same and operate with generally the same controls. So let's go ahead and click that. And then it's going to load up Adobe Premiere Elements 10. Okay, so we are immediately prompted with several options. Organize, New Project, or Open Project. If you've been working on a project and are re-accessing re it, you click Open Project and then select your project and it will load up the editor. In our case, we're going to be making a new project. So we'll come here and click New Project. This takes just a moment to load up and then the editor itself opens up. You can see all your files and forms opening up there. Okay, so we are looking at the New Project page. This is actually a pretty crucial stage of your editing project. It's always important to organize your editing beforehand so that it's much easier to take care of when actually editing and find any files or folders on your computer. So first thing we need to do is title our project. So I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial on a PowerPoint advancer and we abbreviate that with PPT ADV. Second and very important step is to figure out where you want to save the file. It will always default into the Adobe Premiere Elements file. I tend not to save it there just so I have an easier frame of reference for it. So what I will do is I will go here to Browse and I will either make a file or in this case I already have a file open. I tend to put the file in the same folder where I'm using the footage. So in this case Here's my footage that I will be using. It's under AV stuff, technical term right there, camera edit, and PPT tutorial. So, after clicking browse, I will then look under AV stuff, camera and edit, and PPT tutorial. Click OK. I will then confirm that. I'm looking under the save in, I, there I am. I'm under AV stuff, camera edit, PPT tutorial. Last thing I will do is look at my project settings. The project settings usually default to whatever you've recorded the file in. So in this case, I recorded my file in a format called AVCHD. It's a high definition format, and it's under, you can see right here, 1080i. So we're looking all good. If for some reason that's incorrect, come here to change settings, and you'll be good to go. You can then select from a variety of different formats. But in our case, we're good. So we'll click OK and we'll load up the main page. Okay. Now that the page is loaded, let's review what we're looking at here. There's essentially three parts to the editor. The first part is this area right here. This area is called the preview window. It shows you what is being played and what has been added into your timeline in real time. If you click this play button, it's going to play through the timeline and you're going to be able to preview your movie right in this window. The second part is called the timeline. This is the timeline right down here. The timeline is where all your footage is kept in terms of how it's organized throughout the project. So it's a linear thing. Everything on the left is going to happen before everything on the right and you assemble it piece by piece moving down the line. The third area, this area right here, is often called the bin. This holds all the footage you've brought into the editor. It also holds things like transitions. Here's a list of transitions here. Uh, titles for title menus. Effects for distorting, blurring, going black and white, whatever you want to do to your videos where it's stored. Arts. And then we obviously have some themes. So again, this little window right here is called the bin. So now what we need to do is in order to start any project, you obviously need to bring media into the editor to edit. That is done with a very simple click of this button right here, Get Media. This will prompt you with a list of folders, which you can see 
you can do anything here from recording off a DVD camcorder, HDV, DVDs, uh, non-licensed DVDs, obviously, uh, cell phones, cameras. You can even record straight off a webcam. Uh, but for my purposes, I tend to import all my footage beforehand into a folder on my computer, and then I can then extract it from there. It just seems to streamline the process. So that's be what I would recommend. So for that, we'll come down here to Files and Folders, because I already have the footage on my computer, and click that. Then it opens up an Add Media folder. Now this happens to be opening straight to the folder I need, but let's put it back up to the desktop just so you can understand what it might look like. So here we are, we're looking at my desktop. I now need to find my files. So I'll come here under AV Stuff, Camera and Edit, and PPT Tutorial. And then you can see you have a list of files and folders here. Now I know from reviewing this footage beforehand that this number 0 and number 1 are extras. They're spares, they were on the camera before I even captured my footage, so I don't need those. But what I do need is clip 2, clip 3, clip 4, and clip 5. So I'm going to cl select clip 2, hold down the shift key, and select clip 5. What that will do is that will collect all clips between 2 and 5, including 2 and 5. I'll then click open. It's going to add the media. You will notice down here in the bottom, it is conforming the media. That happened rather quickly. Uh, I'm on a nice fresh new computer on your laptop, depending on the age of it, that may take a little longer. Definitely wait for all objects to conform. You'll see bars loading up in this little area down this corner of the window. Wait for all footage to conform before you start editing. Okay, now let's review back up to the bin. Here is the bin, and as you can see, I now have my four clips loaded up. Depending on how you like to view it, you can alter your view. I prefer what is called a list view. So if I click this icon right here, I now have a list of all my options or of all my videos. So I have the video name, type of media it is, in this case a movie, the frame rate, and even the duration. Now that we have all our footage imported into the bin, we're ready to start editing. You can refer to the next tutorial on how to edit, and we'll go from there.